Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Espresso on S3, and Ryle and I are very, very privileged to not only be wearing the same shirt, <laughs> but also to be sitting here. And you know, there are so many reasons for you to enjoy this long weekend. Uh, what are your plans for Heritage Day? That was a big question that we asked oh, on social yeah. media. It was a big question indeed. We're asking you all over. So many things are happening this weekend. Obviously, celebrating Heritage Day. We've got big matches coming up, and we've still got two superstars. Not one, but two superstars joining us for this convo too. Yes. Definitely diving into this one, of course. But we've wanted to find out from you, Mzanzi. So come through on our number. It's 0634088863. And let's share the weekend here. Can we start with you guys? Yes, oh, then, please. What's the fasty? Hi, welcome hey. <laughs> to Feel Good Breakfast Show. That's lovely. You know, this is an accomplished author. Oh, excuse me? I'm just saying, yes. Are you serious? And, okay. right, when it comes to boxing, uh -huh. I'm just saying, maybe like edging Trikas in terms of technique. <laughs> well, she is a coach there. She's so. a coach. You understand? Well, uh, and then uh, it's so funny because she's an accomplished author, and I can barely even read. <laughs> <laughs> so yin and yang, you guys are perfect for each other. You can read an opponent. Let's. I mean, that's that's, a, no, that's, that's all language. Language. You, you know. body language. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's <laughs> the same. Okay, so Heritage Day weekend. What's the normal thing for mm. for you to to do? Well, normal. Uh, usually what we would do is we'll uh, do a big braai nice. at the house, but we have a, a very cool, uh, we get away with friends at the Mahondo Lodge, we're going there. Well, it's, going yes. be, uh, it's going to be a special one. So right after this, we're flying back to Pretoria, yeah, yeah. Uh, getting everything on the bucky. And going. that's beautiful. Yes. Are you getting any opportunity to link and watch the game, maybe? Or you got a no 100%. Oh, yes. <laughs> 100%. Oh, yes. I'll drive back to Victoria if I have to. <laughs> Fasti, I just wanted to ask, um, who's the better bribe master? Like, let's be very mm. honest. And you know what? I know you're on live TV, mm -hmm. but you can be honest with me and Ryle, okay? Who's the better bribe master? I'm going to tell you guys him because if they had a conversation before. Yes, they they definitely had a conversation yeah. with yes, the paper. Don't throw me under the bus. Don't throw me under the bus. Don't throw me under the bus. Well, I love it. Obviously, mm. you guys are giving us every reason to get excited for the weekend. Again, thank you for sharing some of your time with us this morning. Honestly, yes, pleasure. Inspiration is an understatement when it comes to what you're doing, and the fact yeah. that you get to be so real, you're so raw and so authentic with what you do, that's what stands out the most for me, man. You really are a true gem. But, Mzanzi, let's find out what the rest of you are doing. Obviously, now we got uh, from uh, the superstars, but let's see what our other superstars are up to. What do you have to say, y'all? Okay, let's check it out. So, let's go for Zelda Hennessy. Mm -hmm. It's saying, my dad always made the best poiki. Cool, I would like to remember him this year by making a chicken poiki with loads of veggies, like baby marrow, butternut, onion, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Beautiful. Mm. And, make, and make sure it's not like our poiki. Make it last at least longer than an hour. Four hours, six hours, the longer the better, as they say. Look, the comments keep coming. We've got Franklin Niemann coming next. He says, morning, fam. Beef, tripe, and dumplings with butter, beans. Ooh, chee uh -huh. Some might say yay, some might say nay. I don't know. Are you a tripe, tripe and trotter kind of people? Well, listen. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. <laughs> That's amazing. And then Kherki saying, um, good morning. Family, I'm kidding, it's good morning, don't worry, okay? A braai would be liquor. <laughs> of course, it, it would be. obviously be liquor. A, a great old braai indeed. <laughs> My little Ivy comes to next saying, I'll go for beef cubes and raja curry powder, onion, green pepper, and garlic, and potatoes. The taste that's gonna pop out there, the aroma, very tasty with two of these, two of these puppies. That I sounds love like it. the best one so far. That does, especially the, the, the little ingredients, it's mm. the small things that make the difference, bro. Yeah. I love this. I'm loving the fact that Mzanzi is getting absolutely crazy with Heritage Weekend. Yes. We've hyped it out throughout the show. Carl and I even dressed to the nines, as you can see. Yes. I see you also came yes, uh, you matching. Prepared. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Mzanzi, for sending those comments in. We are absolutely excited to yeah. celebrate this weekend, celebrate our heritage, and don't forget all the incredible beauty that we've been blessed with right across our country. I hope you're diving into that.